learners, I am Rajni Upadhyay. Today, we will discuss the topic Importance and Scope of Mathematics Education at Elementary Stage. In Hindi, Mathematics is known as Ganita, meaning the science of calculation. Mathematics is the science of measurement, quantity and magnitude as per the Oxford Dictionary. According to Benjamin, mathematics is the science that draws necessary conclusion. Nature of mathematics. Mathematics is logical. Mathematics is accepted as a branch of logic. According to C.G. Hempel, it can be derived from logic in the following sense. All concepts of mathematics that is arithmetic, algebra and analysis can be defined in terms of concepts of logic. All the theorems of mathematics can be deduced from these definitions by means of the principles of logic. Thus, it can be said that in mathematics, truth can be established with logic. The proof of mathematical statements consists of series of logical arguments applied to certain accepted rules, definitions and assumptions. Mathematical statement that is two even numbers when added it give rise to another even number. So, any even number say 2n where n is any natural number. Two even number that is 2n1 and 2n2 where n1 and n2 are two natural numbers. Sum of two number equal 2n1 plus 2n2 that makes 2 within bracket n1 plus n2 equal 2m where m equal to sum of natural numbers that is n1 plus n2. Here 2m is a number which is divisible by 2 and hence is a even number. Thus the sum of two numbers is an even number. This kind of logic which uses known results, definitions and rules of inference to prove something is called deductive logic. Now another kind of logic used in mathematics is inductive logic. Example suppose we have a series of even number that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 16, 36, 54, 68 and 102. They all are even numbers. Now add any two of these even number. So the question is find out whether the sum is an even number or an odd number. So here is the solution 2 plus 4 equal to 6 and 6 is an even number. 6 plus 4 equal 10 again 10 is an even number. 10 plus 8 equal 18, 18 is an even number and so on. We can conclude that any two even numbers when added the sum would be an even number. This type of logic is known as inductive logic. Next is mathematics is symbolic. Let us take two statement. First is 200 when multiplied by 10 gives 2000. Using mathematical symbols we can show it as 200 into 10 equal 2000. Now second statement is when the sum of any two natural numbers say a and b is squared 
it gives the sum of squares of a and b added with twice the product of the two numbers. How use of symbol make mathematical expression brief and clear provided you understand the notations. The symbol like those for numerals for both basic operation that is plus, minus, multiply and divide or figures representing lines, angle, triangle, quadrilateral, circle and the likes are so familiar with everybody that not only these are easily understood but also widely used in our daily life. Now next is mathematics is precise. Precision is that nature of mathematics which deals with accuracy and exactness and leave no scope for doubt. According to C.J. Kaiser, the quality of mathematical thought, the certainty and correctness, its conclusion are due to the characteristics of the concept with which it deals precision, sharpness and completeness. Such ideas admit of such precision, other do not and the mathematician is the one who deals with those that too. Example, the concept of cone. Here, I have a cone diagram. So basically, what is cone? So let you define first what is cone. A cone is a three-dimensional geometric shape that tapers smoothly from the base usually flat and circular to a point called the apex or vertex. Here I have a shape of cone. The base is circular and the top, the apex, the point is vertex. So this is three dimensional geometric shape. So the definition of cone is clear and precise. If and object is given to you, you can definitely say whether it is cone or not. Example, suppose this diagram denotes cone. This duster is look like a cuboid. So, if I can say which one is cone, so the figure which is drawn on a paper that symbolize that structure for the cone, not the, this one, this is a cuboid. Mathematics help in developing the abilities of accurate reasoning, thinking and judgment amongst the, among the children. Now, mathematics is study of structure. The word structure means arrangement, composition, configuration, form, order or system. Whether the mathematical concept have certain arrangements, have you observed any configuration in mathematical concept? Is there any relationship between the concept in mathematics? If you will observe the nature of mathematics, you will see that mathematics is the study of certain structure, arrangement in the general sets. During the elementary stage, the child is going through the concept of natural number, whole number, integers, fraction number, rational number and real number. Here I have a teaching aid related to the content. The first box represents the set of natural number. The second box represents set of whole numbers. The third one shows set of integers and the last one shows set of rational number. Rational number are in a form of p by q where p is a numerator and q is denominator which is non-zero. Set of integers, set of whole numbers and set of natural numbers. Now next point is mathematics aim at abstraction. Mathematics deal with abstractions. For example, 
today a father age is twice the age of his elder son 30 year back his age was four times than the age of his elder son so my question is what is the age of the father so here's the solution suppose age of elder son is m years so according to equation age of father is 2m 30 years back age of elder son equal m minus 30 and age of father 2m minus 30 according to situation 30 years back father age was four times than the age of his elder son so age of father equal 4 into age of elder son 2m minus 30 equal 4 within bracket m minus 30 so when we solve the equation m would be 45 years so elder son age equal to 45 and father age is 2m that makes 90 years abstraction is essential in mathematics it is one of the amazing features of mathematics this nature of mathematics gives rise to the development of new areas of mathematics like algebra algebra a branch of mathematics deal with abstraction one concept can be an abstraction in the sense that it is thought of as apart from material objects abstraction is a mean of encompassing wider range of application of mathematics importance and scopes mathematics educations deal with all issues at all level related to teaching learning of mathematics in the socio-cultural economic context and are concerned with the development and of appropriate mathematics curricula. Its importance is both theoretical because it's mixed with nature of its link with application of mathematics in day-to-day -day life and interdisciplinary approach. According to National Curriculum Framework 2005 states that clarity of thought and pursuing assumption to logical conclusion is central to the mathematical enterprise. While there are many ways of thinking, the kind of thinking one learns in mathematics is an ability to handle abstractions and an approach to problem solving. In this section, you will learn about the importance of mathematics education for the learner. Now, mathematics in real life situation, where we can use the mathematics in real life. The first place is market. Most of the students might have gone to a market with their parents. They must have observed and participated in the way of buying and selling of goods and also the approach of the buyer and seller. You should take the advantage of real situations and utilize the experience of student in calculation of profit and loss, preparation of bills, process of weighing, counting of money, amount and price etc. Second area is garden. Students prepare plots in home, schools and also in playing with peers. During that time, they may have not known counting, measurements, construction of angles, different types of geometrical figures, areas, different lines, average, etc. But they may do it using this perception. How can one prepare a plot of 2 meter each side? You may share the experience of the students in these activities and it will be amazing to find out that they have already acquired a lot of mathematical concepts which requires slight refinement for acquiring formal knowledge and understanding of the concept. 
Now next is making designs. Students cover their notebook, paint picture, decorate their houses, plant tree in a garden, design their playing kits, etc. All that time they are using mathematics. How many matchsticks are required to design your name? Teacher must observe the process of making design and utilize it in the classroom. Now next is festival. We celebrate many festivals in our homes as well as in our schools. Student heartily involved on the Independence Day, Republic Day, Teachers Day, Children's Day, Saraswati Puja, Ganesh Puja, Eid, Christmas, etc. They involve themselves in different activities to make these special occasions memorable. They go to market to buy various materials, decorate the school, distribute sweets, calculate expenditure, etc. At that time, they also learn mathematics. Next is playground. Students are playing kabaddi, football, cricket, volleyball, basketball and also many indoor games. They frame their rules of their own. Prepare playground in a ground. Students construct circle, rectangle, square, triangle etc. In their playground without knowing the rule of construction. They count individual and group scores through their own strategies. Example, Ramesh scored two fours, two twos and a single in a cricket match. How can we calculate his total score without knowing multiplication? Now next point is mathematics and other branches of knowledge. How can we relate mathematics with other branches? So the first point is mathematics and literature. Many consider language and literature are just the opposite in nature to that of mathematics. They feel that language is the vehicle of feelings, emotions and passion while mathematics is exact, objective and mathematical logic are devoid of any emotion and passion and have little place in literature. At the initial stage of language learning, children are given freedom to express themselves in as many words as they can use. But at each grade, you need to ensure their vocabulary acquisition and it is stipulated that towards the end of primary level, they should acquire around 5000 words. To have a regular assessment of vocabulary acquisition, you need to use objective methods. In the upper primary grade, the children are encouraged to express within stipulated number of words. That is, they can encourage to be precise and comprehensive in their expression. Therefore, they are trained in precise writing and paragraph writing within a specific number of words and in specific length of sentences. Now next relation is in between mathematics and science. Perhaps mathematics and science share close relationship. There is no branch of science which does not use mathematics. Take the concept of physical science. Most of the concepts have evolved from the experimentations or observation but have been established as scientific theory by use of mathematical interpretations. For example, the finding that water boils at 100 degree Celsius is a scientific fact emerged from the experiments. Now next relation is mathematics and environment study. In the curriculum of EVS at the primary grade, there are several topics which require quantitative description and analysis based on these quantitative data. Examples are 
Planning a school campus, including school garden, requires the concept of measurement of length, area to be utilized. For a balanced and nutritious diet, the proportion of different component of food is calculated and mathematically depending on the requirement of the individual. In studying the occupational pattern of the community in the habitations around the school, you need to employ the knowledge of proportion, percentage and different modes of graphical presentation to describe the patterns. Now next relation is mathematics and geography. Geography like science requires the knowledge of mathematics at every step to explain and clarify the geographical concepts and phenomena. For example, in studying landforms, you need to have clear idea of measuring larger height and variation in temperature at different height. Now next relationship is in between mathematics and history. History is the study of events and trend of events within a specific period of time. Therefore, you should develop a sense of time and be able to conceive the temporal gap between important event so as to be able to efficiently speculate the validity of occurrence of such events. Next is mathematics and physical education. Wherever you desire to maintain some form of order, you need to numbers and physical education provide the brightest example of it. Mathematics and art education. In both visual and performing arts, mathematics has crucial role to play. Example, while drawing or making a human or animal figure, the relative proportion between head, trunk and hand and feet are to be perfectly maintained. Otherwise, the art would be look disproportionate and hence lose its artistic quality. In performing art, be it singing, playing an instrument or dancing, the knowledge of beats or rhythm is the key to all such performances. At last, I would like to conclude the session by saying that precision is that nature of mathematics which deals with accuracy and leaves no scope for doubt. Mathematical knowledge enable us to solve daily life problems. The process like observing, inferring, comparing, copying pattern with object, using trial and error, classification of objects and data and using appropriate strategies can be developed through learning of mathematics. Hope the session was clear your doubts. Thank you.